Hi everyone, Prince Will here. Um, in today's video, I'll be showing you the one thing that you have to do before you try to sell anything online. So of course, your goal for trying to build an e-commerce business is to make a profit. But how would you know how much profit you're making if you've not exactly factored in all the costs that is going to entail you to sell the product you have gotten into Nigeria. So I'm going to show you a way to have a full end-to-end -end view of everything that you're going to have to spend in making sure your business is profitable. Also on this channel, every week we have a free training giveaway where we get to pick one lucky person and help them build out their entire e-commerce infrastructure from having the right product to getting them to Nigeria to selling them the fastest way possible using one of the best advertising strategies ever now to qualify for this giveaway all you have to do is quite simple just like this video subscribe to the channel and ring the notifications bell once you do so you can qualify for this giveaway also stick around to the end of this video to find out if you won last week's free training giveaway all right enough talk let's get into the content so this is what i like to call a profit analysis sheet now now this document is going to help me have an end-to-end -end view on the profitability of the product that I'm trying to sell. So now this is the number one thing that you have to do before you try to start an online business because the entire reason you're in an online business is to try and make money. And from the get-go, you need to be able to understand how you're making the money that you plan to make and how much exactly it's going to be. And factor in all the expenses that are going to come with running that business profitably. So right here, a first sale of the first row, you can see uh, product cost. So like the name implies, this is exactly how much it's going to cost you to buy the product from the supplier. Now, for this particular video, we're using a product that cost us $1.73 and we're buying 100 units of it. So you can see in the formula there, it says 1.73 times 100 plus 10. Now the plus 10 is the cost of shipping from the manufacturer's um, location to your uh, your shipping agent in the second column we have international shipping so like the name implies this is going to be the cost of shipping the products from china straight to nigeria and like you can see here i've added that it's going to cost you about 8.5 dollars per kg so this is the going rate as at november 2020 so right here in the formula i've also put a breakdown of how we arrived at what the international shipping cost is going to be now in the third column, we have local logistics. Now this is what it is going to cost you to transport your goods from the office of the shipping agent here in Lagos to where you're going to be shipping out from to your customer. It could be your home or it could be the office of your logistics partner. Now uh, putting all these three costs together is going to help us find out what our landing cost is going to be. So landing cost means the cost of the item as it lands in Nigeria. Now for last week's free e-commerce training giveaway is Godwin Peter. So Godwin, all you have to do right now is check out my email in the description and send me an email and we can start working together. So if you want to be as lucky as Godwin to win our free e-commerce training giveaway, where we get to help you build out your entire e-commerce business from picking the right product to helping you build out the website and the advertising strategies to make sure you are profitable all you have to do is like this video subscribe to the channel ring the notifications bell and comment done once you do so you can be automatically entered into the giveaway there's also a link in the description where you can book a private consulting call with me and we can talk about any challenges you're facing with your e-commerce business or your advertising good luck selling price uh, needs no further explanation now, advertising cost is what it is going to cost you to sell this product. So for this product, because of how cheap it is, I've assumed a 1,000 Naira cost per purchase, which means 1,000 Naira times 100 units. And that's how I arrived at um, 100,000 Naira. Now, because I have data from selling previous products, I can estimate what the cost per purchase is going to be. So if you're going to be selling anything that is less than um, 7,000 Naira, you can assume a 1,000 Naira cost per purchase. If you're going to be selling anything from, you know, 8,000 Naira to 15,000 Naira, you can assume a 2,000 Naira cost per purchase. And this is just for estimate sake. You know, when you start to advertise and your advertising gets better and better, the cost can drop. But initially, it's just um, great to set the bar very high. Now, technical cost is what is going to cost you to set up 
the uh, digital infrastructure that you're going to use to sell out this product. Now this includes your website, the email address, the hosting, the buying the domain name and all that cost is what I've put here and termed technical costs. Now packaging cost means um, the cost of the packaging materials you're going to use to uh, package your items before they get to your final customer. Now for everything I sell, I like to add a free delivery offer because um, paying extra money to get the item after paying the cost of the item is something that many customers frown out. So you always try to embed the cost of delivering your goods um, to your customer in the price. Now uh, delivery cost for this, I just assumed a 2000 Naira average delivery fee or deliveries within Lagos. Airtime and data uh, need no explanation. Now with all these costs that I've outlined from the first column to column J, now that's what's going to impact how much the profit margin per unit of the item will be. So to make this easy for you, I've already put in the formulas. All you have to do is change the selling price and change the product cost for your item and probably the shipping cost and you exactly know what the profit margin per unit is going to be. So in the next column, um, with all the formulas embedded in this sheet as well, you can also find out what the net profit for this batch of product is going to be. Now net profit means how much you get to keep as yours. That is pure profit from the business. I personally like to run businesses that have over 30% net profit. Anything less than 30% net profit, I just consider it not worth my time. So with this profit analysis sheet, you're able to know how profitable you're going to be selling any product that you choose to. I'm going to leave the link to this sheet in the description so you can copy it and duplicate it and have a copy for yourself to use at any time. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.